Hey everyone, want to supercharge your app with features that keep users engaged? Imagine adding in-app chat for easy communication, voice calling for quick conversations, video calling for face-to-face -face interaction, and even live streaming to create a dynamic experience. Well, buckle up, because today we're exploring ZegaCloud, a platform that makes all these features and more a reality for your app. ZegaCloud provides rich developer resources including useful code snippets, open-source sample projects. ZegaCloud offers pre-built UI kits to simplify the development process. With UI kits, you can go live in minutes with only a few lines of code. They offer UI kits for various use cases and devices and they support Flutter, React Native, iOS, and for more apps. And their easy-to-integrate SDKs are available for 18 programming languages and frameworks, making it flexible for your development needs. And ZegaCloud offers more than 20 pre-built UI kits that cover various use cases and devices. Like Group Call Kit, Live Streaming Kit and Video Conference Kit and more. And ZegaCloud offers a free trial, you can get 10,000 minutes for free by signing up. Signing up is quick and easy, just follow the on-screen instructions to create your free ZegaCloud account and unlock your free minutes. For example, put the first name and fill out the required fields. Here you have to agree to the terms. And then request your verification code from here. It will be received via email. Let's enter the password and let's go. Once you're signed up, you'll be ready to dive into the ZegaCloud developer resources and start integrating video calling functionality into your app. Here mention the different sections of the dashboard like projects, create your first project, company name and industry to give viewers an idea of the information they will need to provide to get started. Which suggests that ZegaCloud helps users find the right solutions based on their needs. You can talk about this and mention that it simplifies finding the right video call features for your project. Here we have finished the account registration process to get 10,000 minutes. Now go to the dashboard and click here to create your first project. Here there are many use cases you can choose, but in this video we will choose voice and video call. Click next. Here we put the project name, and we choose start with UI kits. Wait a little while until the project is created. We can build our project with several options for the web, for example, but we will choose Flutter. This page appears. Scroll down and click Save and start to integrate. Click here. Then here to read the documentation. Let's create a new Flutter project. And let's choose a location for the project and then create it. Wait a little while it finishes. You can create a new project from VS Code or Android Studio. Let's open it using Code. Dot. It has been created successfully and let us return to the documentation page to find out what we need to do. First, you must download the ZegaCloud package. We go to the project terminal and paste what we copied. This will take some time and in some areas you will have to turn on a VPN. It was successful and the package was downloaded. Below we see that a complete package has been added. We go to the pubspec.yaml file to confirm. Now back to the documentation. Next step, go to ZegaCloud console and copy both the app ID and app sign. Now we go to the project and create a constants folder and inside it is a file that I will call info. I will save it for you from the app ID and app sign.
We will save the app ID as an integer and the app sign as a string. Now go back to the documentation and copy this code, and after creating the view file, we create the call page. We replace both app ID and app sign. And import the package here so that the error disappears. Here I will create the user ID using the math library to call the random function to generate a random number for the users. We use it here but convert it to string because user ID only accepts string. Now go back to the documentation, and we notice that we have to modify the compile SDK version and the min SDK version. Here we must go to this path. It is also necessary here to modify your existing copy to 1.8.0. Here we must go to this path. And we must make sure this line is present within the code. Now it is necessary to add permissions for the application to work, including permissions to open a sound recording camera. Here we must go to this path, android slash app slash scr slash main slash android manifest.xml. It says that we must create a file with this name and format inside the app folder and paste this line. Copy this line here and move to the path above. And paste it here. Run the project and wait a little. This may appear to you and it may take you a little time to download, and this depends on your internet speed. The project opened without errors. Now we will build a home page that contains a field in which the user enters the call Idaho and a button to call. You must first remove the default code and all existing comments and create a home page. This line tells Flutter not to display a banner in the upper right corner of the screen indicating that the app is running in debug mode. Now create homepage.dart inside view folder. Go back to main and define it to eliminate the error. Scaffold is the fundamental widget that provides the overall structure of the screen, including the app bar and main content area body. I will create a column inside the center, and inside the column widget will be the text form field and the button. Let's modify a little to improve the appearance of the text form field.
Let's improve the general appearance here. I can't do without that. Call Idaho Controller is a text editing controller object used to manage the text entered in the text form field. Not forget that the call page needs a parameter, and here comes the importance of creating a text form field. Let's try and create a connection. It actually worked without any errors, and it is really easy to use and worth a try. And here I have full control of the call without problems. I hope this was useful and easy to explain. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to watch the next video. See you in a new video.